frog here. And what we want to do with this frog is we want to cast it out close towards, you know, marsh and lily pads and things with cover where frogs are going to feel safe and they're going to jump down. And then we're just going to pop it by driving it downward. We're not going to pop it upwards. We're going to drive it downwards. And that's going to pop it in the water and it's going to splash and it's going to look like a frog just landed. We'll try it out a couple times. I'm going to use a spinning rod because I just, I like the feel um, and the control that I have with the spinning rod and reel when I'm fishing frogs and like very light, soft plastics, things like that. I just feel like I can get into tighter spaces and work them a little bit more effectively. So we're going to be targeting this area right along the shoreline, underneath branches and at the edge of this marsh right here. You want to keep a very rhythmic motion going. It's a pop, pause, pop, pause, pop, pause. And I'm squeezing it after each pull just because it takes on some water. All frogs do that. It makes them a little bit more buoyant when they got a little bit of water in them. Then it, then it sinks their butt up and they look like a frog. But you want to keep squeezing the water out after every cast. Well, they seem to be pretty deep today. So I think we're going to go back over to the deeper location where... Um, we've been seeing them. It's a little too shallow back here. I think early morning on a hot day, maybe if it's a little warmer tomorrow, we'll try back over here in this pond area. I've had success here before. It's just midday. It's a little chilly out. I don't think that they're going to hit a topwater frog. And so you got to have the right conditions for a topwater frog. Generally going to be uh, warm summer days when they're really actively feeding in these shallower waters. Um, and then, you know, spring and fall is actually still a good time to do it when they're feeding topwater insects and they just happen to. But really that warm summer day when they're, when they're kind of stacked up back here in this pond, um, that's usually when I have the best luck with topwater frogs. Um, there's also not a lot of vegetation right now, so they're not really sheltering under these. Um, there's just a little bit here. So it's not going to be the producer that we want it to be, but we should go back over and catch some fish in that deeper pool because it's every other cast. Ooh. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, that's so much fun. Having them hit that frog on the top water. Whew. Oh yeah. Oh, nice healthy one too. That's just so much fun. Oh, on the top water frog. Popping it, he jumped out of the water to grab it. Oh, it's just so much fun. Oh, it's hard to work this. It's got to be the right time in the right place. They've got to be active on top of the water. You got to work it perfectly. It's just